Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who flips furniture on the side in order to earn a profit to put straight toward my student loan debt. First of all, I wanna start off by saying thank you so much for all of your guys' support and encouragement and kind, kind words. I can't thank you enough. We reached 10,000 subscribers in the month of February, and now we are even surpassed 11 and really close to 12. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. I'm excited for all of the new people who have gotten to join along the journey, and I'm excited excited for where this journey is going to go in the near and far future. All right, so for this video, we are going to be reviewing all of the furniture flips that I did in the month of February. But before I get into it, I wanna remind you of January's numbers and then we'll get into the flips from February. So before I started furniture flipping, I had to pay $25,400 on my student loan debt. And as of the end of January, I had paid $9,100 toward that loan debt. So at the beginning of February, I had $16,300 left to pay on my student loan debt. Let's dive into February's flips and see where we're at now. For furniture piece number one of February, I got a desk from a thrift store for $20. Neiman and my mom were actually out thrifting while I was at school, and so they brought it home and I got right to work. This was my first collaboration with Dixie Bell and I was excited to get started. So I cleaned the piece with Dixie Bell's White Lightning, making sure to get into all of the drawers as well. Then I used my drill to remove all of the hardware, and I made sure to keep all of the hardware in one spot. Then, since it was freezing cold outside, I used my hand sander to sand down the imperfections of the top. In order to fill in the gouges in the desk, I used Dixie Mud. I applied Dixie Belle's Boss Primer to seal in the stain color in order to keep it from popping through once I painted it. Then I taped off the drawers and I got started painting with Dixie Belle's Stormy Seas Chalk Paint. I used my Scarlet Brush from Dixie Belle to get all of the desk painted, and it took two coats. Then I used Dixie Belle's Gator Hide for the top of the desk and the satin top coat for the rest. I was a little bit messy while I was painting, and you know me, I'm pretty clumsy, so I had to go back and sand down the sides of the drawers that I had gotten paint on. Then I used my drill to reinstall the hardware and put the drawers back in, and I staged it for photos. I made sure to have good lighting in order to get the best photos possible, and I measured it, and I posted this to Facebook Marketplace for $175, and after a few days, I had a couple of inquiries, and then I was able to sell it via Venmo for $175, which was my full price. I just had to hold on to the desk for just a few days before they were able to come and pick it up. In the end, it's out of here, and that gives me a total profit of $155, and I put it straight toward my student loan debt. For the second and third flips of February, I found two vintage chairs. I got the pair for $25 off of Facebook Marketplace, and of course, my mom went and picked them up for me. I flipped these both at the same time. First, I laid down the towels to protect the chairs from being scratched or damaged on the garage floor. And then I started with the orange swivel rocker and used my tools to rip off the skirt. This one came off pretty easily compared to some of the other ones that I've done. There were lots of staples left sticking out after ripping off the skirt, so I made sure to go back through and remove those with my needle nose pliers even poking myself a couple of times, and those staples do not feel good. Next, I grabbed the striped chair and did the same thing, ripping off the skirt and removing the staples. Then I took my Bissell vacuum and upholstery cleaner and sprayed a cleaning solution on both chairs, and I used the vacuum part to suck up all the dirt and dust from each chair and the cushions. I staged the chairs for photos and I listed them separately on Facebook Marketplace. Since launching that video, I have actually been able to sell both chairs. So I sold the orange swivel rocker for $160. And then I also sold the striped chair actually just a few days ago for $155. So I did lower my price just a tad bit on that one, 
but I kept it on there and I waited it out and someone finally very excitedly inquired and they were super excited to come and pick it up. So we got both of those out of here and that is a total profit after paying $25 for both of them of $290 straight toward my student loan debt. For flip number four of the month of February, I got a dresser from my Nana and she gave it to me for free to help me on my journey of paying off my student loan debt. She is seriously one of my biggest supporters, so thanks Nana for the dresser. This dresser was a bit smaller than a normal dresser and it was made of particle board. So I got to work sanding down the top of the dresser to get rid of some of the scratches and the bumps. And then I cleaned the piece with Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I removed the hardware with my drill and I set it aside because I was not going to reuse it. Usually I use white or gray, but I got a little bit bold for this dresser and I used Dixie Belle's vintage duck egg to cover the entire thing. I thought it might look really nice in a kid's room and it took two coats of paint to cover the entire thing. And then I used Dixie Belle's clear coat in a satin finish to top coat the entire piece. I used these white knobs that I got from Walmart a while back to finish the piece and I thought it turned out really cute. I staged the dresser and I took some photos and I listed it on Facebook Marketplace for $80. Someone I know actually ended up seeing the post on Facebook Marketplace and they reached out to me and they came over and picked it up for that $80. So after spending $10 on materials, I came away with a profit of $70 that I put straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flips five, six, and seven, I flipped this free bedroom set that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Man, do I love free furniture. After getting these three pieces home, I got to work on doing some minor fixes. I attached the drawer slides to each drawer and I added on a front panel to the tall dresser. I used crud cutter to clean all three pieces, making sure to get off all of the dirt and dust. Then I took my hand sander and sanded down the tops of each piece, making sure to get rid of any water damage or bumps. I took my Plastic X wood filler to fill in the place where I had screwed in the piece of wood on the front panel. And then I removed the hardware from each drawer and set it aside in a container because I was going to be reusing it for the final pieces. I removed each drawer and made sure to label them since there were 13 drawers in all. This was probably one of the biggest projects that I have done and it had so many drawers and I was a little bit overwhelmed but I got it done. I fixed the drawer that I had broke with some wood glue and some clamps and then I sanded down the wood filler once it had dried. I took my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white and I got to painting the bases of the dressers and the drawers. The white took three coats and then I used an aged gray Rust-Oleum chalk paint for the tops of each piece and I did two coats of that. Then I used an FFT channel favorite, the smoked glaze from Rust-Oleum chalk paint and I painted that over the aged gray on the tops of all three pieces. I painted it on slowly and then I wiped it back with a lint-free cloth. And then I went over all three pieces with Rust-Oleum's matte clear top coat. I staged it for photos and measured each piece and listed it to Facebook Marketplace. I listed it on Facebook Marketplace for $425 and I ended up selling it well, I thought I ended up selling it. And when the video dropped, I told you guys that I sold it and I had gotten a deposit via Venmo for $150. Well, a couple of days later, after the video had released, that person ended up falling through and getting furniture from someone else. And so they didn't want my furniture anymore. I had never really come across this issue before, so I didn't really know what to do, but I ended up giving her $100 of her deposit back and I kept the $50 for my troubles. So I relisted it on Facebook Marketplace. Hint, don't ever take it down until you've got the sale and until you've got it out of here. Anyway, I relisted the set for $425 as I had before and I had lots of interest but nothing that was solidified until the other day someone came and someone paid for it and they paid in full $425 
take the $50 from the deposit that they didn't get back, and then the $425, that added together is $475, minus about $10 for materials, so that is a total profit of $465. This ended up working out in my favor, even though I did have a little bit of trouble, and I ended up hanging on to the set a little bit longer than I wanted to but that $465 is going straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number eight of February, I flipped this brown modern style dresser. And this one might be new to most of my viewers because this video debuted over on Dixie Bell Paint Company's YouTube channel. So if you haven't had the chance to check that out, head over there now, the link is down in the description. Here is a little bit of a recap for you guys. I got this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace for $40 and I got it home and I cleaned it with Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I did a light sanding across the top to get rid of the scratches and imperfections and I also sanded down the fronts of the drawers and the sides of the dresser in order to give it a little bit more texture for the paint to adhere to. Then I mixed Dixie Belle's new silk paint in the colors Cape, Current, and Anchor to make a beautiful blue color. I used my scarlet brush from Dixie Belle and applied the blue to the whole dresser minus the top three drawers. I was going for a two-toned look for this piece and it took two coats of the silk mineral paint which is an all-in-one paint. Therefore, I did not have to do a top coat and I was able to put on the hardware and stage it for photos to post onto Facebook Marketplace. I listed it for $400 and after a week of no hits, I lowered the price to $350 and then someone ended up buying it for $325. After getting the piece for $40 off of Facebook Marketplace and selling it for $325, I took about $10 in materials, so that is a total profit of $275 straight toward my student loan debt. For furniture flip number nine of the month of February, I flipped this little nightstand. I didn't do a full YouTube video for this one, but you can find the reel over on my Instagram at Furniture Flipping Teacher. And it's a fun little video that me and Neiman had a lot of fun putting together and just having fun. I cleaned the piece with crud cutter and I scuff sanded the entire piece to get rid of the glossy finish. I removed the hardware and then I used Dixie Belle's Boss Primer to make sure that none of the dark stain would pop through. And this was after I threw the entire jar on the ground. There's a picture for you guys to see at the aftermath. I was a little bit sad when I threw that on the ground when I was mixing it together. A whole new container of Boss. Gone, gone, gone. My dad wasn't too happy, but anyway, then I applied two coats of Dixie Belle's Silk Mineral Paint in the color Bay Breeze, which is a very light blue-gray color, and I used my scarlet brush to get a very even and smooth finish. Since the silk paint is an all-in-one paint, I did not need to use a top coat. I staged the nightstand and I took photos and I posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $60. And then a few days later, I was able to sell it for the $60. So after getting the piece for 15 from Goodwill, I made a profit of $45 and I put that straight toward my student loan debt. I know that doesn't seem like a huge profit and it isn't, but remember, the money compounds and I'm still able to put every penny toward my student loan debt. All right, guys, these ones were some of my favorites, and it seems like it was a fan favorite as well. I am gonna be talking about furniture flips number 10 and 11 for the month of February. I found these two tiger oak dressers for $125 on Facebook Marketplace. And after a lot of trial and error and much frustration and headache, I finally got the look I wanted. I started by sanding down the tops, but then I didn't like the way it looked, so I used citrus strip to strip off the varnish over all of the dressers and the drawers. Then I cleaned all of the pieces with crud cutter to get rid of the rest of the residue, and I used early American stain on the fronts of the drawers and I truly did not like how they were turning out. I decided to take an entire month off from these dressers and come back with a fresh mind, 
So in sub-zero temperatures, I froze my butt off and I took my orbital sander and sanded down the fronts of the drawers and the tops of the dressers all the way to the raw wood. Then I again took my early American stain and stained the tops and the fronts of the drawers. I took polyurethane to seal the tops of the dressers and the drawers, and then I took the Chippy Barn top coat in satin. Then I took the paint from the Chippy Barn in the color Obsidian, and I painted the frames of the dressers. And I took polyurethane to seal the tops of the dressers and the drawers where I had stained. And then I took this Chippy Barn top coat in satin to seal the black paint on the frames of the dressers. I spray painted the hardware black and I reattached it and it really popped against the wooden drawers. Then I slid in the drawers and I staged the pieces to take photos to post onto Facebook Marketplace. I hesitantly posted them on Facebook Marketplace for $450. Yes, I thought that was a little bit high, but I went with my gut and a few other opinions that were given to me. And then they were on there for a couple of days and they ended up selling for the entire price of $450. After spending a ton of time, guys, like seriously a ton of time, like hours and hours and hours, and $125 on the pieces, I spent about 25 on materials. So that gives me a profit of $300 that I get to put straight toward my student loan debt as well as tons of encouragement and even a little bit of pride in myself for pushing through this difficult product and I loved the end result. Rawr. I also learned a little bit about the dressers. Thank you to my viewers who kind of knew a little bit more about them than even I did. So I had originally said that it was veneer. It wasn't veneer, it was pure oak and that that design was actually fumed onto the dressers, which I had never heard of, but that design was almost like an ink thing that was um, on top of the wood. So that's why it kind of disappeared when I was sanding and when I was citrus stripping and when I was using the other thing that I can't think of the name of. Also, the people ended up taking the mirror. I did nothing with it, but they did want to take that with them. So that's where the mirror went. So they are planning on maybe doing something with that in order to make it kind of match the dressers. You learn something new every day. For furniture flip piece number 12 of the month of February, I flipped this dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $30 and I cleaned it with crud cutter to get all the dust and dirt off. Then I removed the hardware and I took out the drawers and I gave the entire piece a light scuff sanding to get rid of the glossy finish. I used two coats of the Chippy Barnes paint in the color cobblestone for this color, which is a nice gray color. And it took a couple of coats and then I used the Rust-Oleum matte clear top coat to protect the entire dresser. I spray painted the new hardware in matte black and I reattached it for a modern look. I staged the dresser for photos and then I posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $180. And for the launch of that video, I wasn't able to sell it in time, but luckily a couple of days ago, I was able to sell that dresser and I didn't budge on my price. So I sold it for the full $180. So after getting it for $30, that means I had a total profit of $150 and it went straight toward my student loan debt. After the crazy month of February with weather and so many bad conditions out there in the middle of the USA, we had some horrible weather, sub-zero temperatures, tons of snow, power outages, rolling blackouts, you name it, we had it. But in the month of February, I was still able to flip 12 pieces of furniture and again, after all of those circumstances, don't forget, I am a full-time kindergarten teacher and I was still able to flip this many pieces of furniture. I cannot wait for March. I have spring break coming up, so that is gonna be a huge week for us to get a ton of flips done. For a recap, in January, I was able to flip 13 pieces of furniture and 
This month I was able to flip 12 pieces of furniture, so put that together. We are at a total of 25 pieces of furniture flipped, but 25 pieces flipped and ready to go. That is only two months into this year, and my goal of 2021 is to flip 125 pieces, so I am on my way there. All right, now it is time for the fun part. I got my iPad out because this is where all of the good stuff is the numbers. As I said at the beginning of the video, I started my student loan debt total with $25,400. And then up until the end of last month, I was able to pay $9,100. So starting in February, I was at $16,300 that I had left on my student loan debt. This month of February, I was able to bring in a total revenue of $2,060. And then of course I have to spend a little bit of money to get furniture and to get materials and supplies and tools. So I spent $310 on things like that. And then let's subtract 310 from the $2,060. That gives me a total of $1,750 of profit that of course I am putting straight toward my student loan debt. And of course we can't have this video without you guys. So thank you as my subscribers, as my supporters, you guys are always rooting me on. And so for that, I want to continually say thank you. And I also want to share with you the number, the ad revenue number that we were able to bring in this month because of you guys and because of all of my viewers. The revenue from YouTube ads was $3,000. You guys, we more than doubled and almost tripled the amount from January. So again, thank you. You guys are just, I can't, I, I get speechless when I think about it and just your support, it means so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So adding February flips plus the YouTube ad revenue, that puts us at a total that I have left to pay on my student loan debt at $11,550, but there's more. Through YouTube, we have been able to diversify our revenue streams. So we also wanted to include that dollar amount in this video as well, because again, that will be going straight toward my student loan debt. And we want to be completely transparent with you guys. So I want to add another $685. This past month, several people have reached out to me wanting to support me a little bit more on my journey of paying off my student loan debt. And one of them even suggested that I set up a buy me a coffee account, which just allows people to donate money as they choose to me so that I can buy a coffee, but I am choosing to put this money straight toward my student loan debt as well. I wanna thank the three people who have found that link down in the description and have graciously given me a little bit of money, their hard earned money to support me and to support my channel and to support my journey of paying off my student loans. So thank you to Donna, and Marianne and Dorothy for being the ones to kickstart that and to support me. I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you. And I am able to put $55 toward my student loan debt from that buy me a coffee link. Thank you, ladies. I really do appreciate that. So drum roll here, the total that I have made from flipping furniture, YouTube ad revenue, buy me a coffee, and some other sources of revenue is a total of $5,480. Guys, thank you for your support. And I'm just blown away. Um, so I can't, I, again, I get so speechless. So thank you. And with that $5,480 going straight toward my student loan debt, we're gonna subtract that number from the 16,300 that I started this month left. 
And I never thought that this was even possible, but we are down to almost only 10,000. I am at a total of $10,820 that I have left to pay on my student loan debt. That is less than half of what I started with. And I have only been doing this since the month of August. And I have only been doing YouTube since the month of November. So now is the time to start. So get going and thank you again. Guys, I am seriously blown away by the progress our channel has made, by the flips I have been able to do, and by the support from you guys, my viewers. I can't thank you enough. I know I've said it tons of times, but I seriously mean it. So thank you. And I am really looking forward to the month of March. And here it is, March 1st and we are beginning our month journey and i can't wait to update you guys at the end of march but be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we have a lot a lot a lot planned and let me just answer all the questions that i've been getting i will continue flipping furniture even after i have paid off my student loan debt so don't think that i'm going anywhere because i'm staying right here we have so many plans ahead for what the money is gonna be used for and for the channel and all of that good stuff. So be sure to stick around, get subscribed down below, like this video, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite flip of February because I love to know which ones you guys like the most so I can kind of recreate those next month. This month in February and even in January, I was able to use tons of products and I like to diversify and that way I can try them out for you guys and try them out for myself, but I highly recommend all of the products that I use and you can find all of the links down in the description for anything that you've seen me use here on the channel. Also, any of the tools that I put um, down in the description are available mostly on Amazon. And so be sure to check that out if you're interested in any of the things that I use. Guys, now is the time to get started. If you are thinking about it, get started now. Message me if you want any help, but truly you guys help me stay motivated and you guys are also my inspiration. I love hearing your guys' comments. I love hearing your guys' stories about what you're flipping. So keep sharing those with me and I'm looking forward to an awesome March. I'll see you on the flip side.